particularly women uh, and children. You know, people that are obviously you're aware of the latest bullying incident that mm-hmm. happened, uh, and so on. So, in terms of uh, vulnerable people, people that are less strong. Um, let's say, for example, a woman. If a woman wanted general advice as to how to defend herself against a bigger and stronger opponent, what would be the kind of top three things or top five things you'd say to her? Usually, with a woman, obviously, you have to take this into consideration that she's much more, she's much uh, weaker than a man. Yes. So she doesn't want to, even if she knows the technique, she don't want to sit there waiting to submit the guy and uh, you know yes. st- stay in a long confrontation. But you you learn enough to have confidence. Yes. You learn enough to defend yourself where you can engage, but really look to disengage and get out yes. of the situation as quickly as possible. For instance, mm-hmm. what's going to happen is usually the person is going to, and we can demonstrate this earlier, he's going to grab the wrist, for instance, yes. right? And now instead of expending a lot of energy trying to just pull and get away, get tired, and then maybe he grabs you with two hands, you learn some sim- simple but effective techniques how you can go ahead and free yourself without exer- exerting too much energy and now you can run or the people grabs you the guy wants to you know grab you that's that bear hug front bear hug mm. now she learns how to go ahead and make the frame make the distance put a knee in and now she's out she's out of there and then other things that are very important just watching your environment where you're walking yes. right uh this is the beautiful thing about our dean that mm. you know it encourages you to have a bodyguard all the time we call him you know uh-huh. y- yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and people don't understand that this is yeah. because of the love and yeah. reverence that we have for our women folk i mean that we there's usually you know we're traveling and all these things but if she, obviously if she's by herself that she's going to be she can't have all the time and that but uh you learn these simple yet effective techniques yes. that you can apply them and imagine if you don't if you don't have the techniques. I mean, with the techniques, obviously your chances to defend yourself and to yes, escape yeah, are are much higher dramatically. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's one thing. I've because if a woman comes into a, um, for example, a confrontation of striking with a man, and he's a striker, she's got much less chance. If she goes into a confrontation of like let's say pure wrestling, and He's a wrestler. Then she got, but BJJ is is much more to do with technical yeah. ability, isn't it? So it gives a woman much more chance than almost any other. That's how I'm yeah. thinking about it. Do you agree with that? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. I wanted to ask you. I wanted to do do a program yeah. uh, for the Dean Show, and yes. usually many people are not up on the things that are out there. That's why I like talking to uh, brothers such as yourself because you're hip on what's going on, the latest things. <laughs> to some extent, yeah. yeah. But there, but there was one thing talking yeah. about women and love that we have for women, and you know our brother Habib, yes, right? Yes. Uh, recently, he was asked by a woman, and it seems like it was set up. You know, it was like yeah. <laughs> the, well, in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah I think it was in Saudi. <laughs> so, uh, uh, um, so the woman came and she asked him, "What advice would you give?" Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, what yes. advice would you give for someone, a woman who wants to get in the cage? And, and I got a backlash, and he said, "Fight in the house." Yeah, fight. Yeah, he <laughs> said, "Smash your husband," right? Yeah, yeah, he said that as well. Yeah. He's, he's a smash your husband, but then he got a lot of, and people were asking me, you he know. He got on the front page news here, and uh, I'm not sure if it was front page. Was it? Uh, yeah, one of the right wing newspapers we have was called Daily uh, Mail. You're kidding me. Yeah, yeah, he, they put him on there. I'm not sure if it was a front page uh, feature. I don't think it was, but it was a feature. So I was thinking about this. I said, hold on. I mean, we're coming, at, he's coming from it from an angle of love. I mean, loving, you know, really honoring the woman. Yeah. And everybody who's there is actually, nobody's booing and it's a different culture. But how can you go ahead and implement now? Because if you're a Jew, if you're a Christian, mm-hmm. if you're someone who now wants to be at the highest level of morality or religion, you believe in God, mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're going to be on this side. So how do you, I mean, wh- how would you answer this when you come down to it? How could you impose your cultural you know your world view on a whole nation and start to put him down because yeah. we believe he's honoring i think that we would have more evidence and proof and from you know something that's yes. not so subjective that's objective yes that you know to substantiate what he's saying that's even more beneficial absolutely i mean think of it this way imagine if it was the opposite way around uh-huh. imagine if a man came up and he asked the same question right uh-huh. and he said what can i do and what if i want to you know be a fighter ufc fighter etc and he said to him I, I give you advice to to fight in the home. Uh huh. Would it would it bring half as much controversy as it did, or if it was a woman telling a man that, it wouldn't bring any controversy whatsoever. And the reason uh-huh. why is because there is no controversy attached to doing things like raising your children. The only controversy that's attached to that is that which the the second and third wave feminists have put on it. But really and truly, what makes w- working in a career, you know, working for a man usually is anyways for a woman any more um, beneficial for that woman than raising her own children 
who will grow to love her. I mean, the truth is, uh, when that woman is working in, let's say, we have it in a city, like or, or some uh, or corporation organization, the the man who's usually in charge of that position of power can say to her, you know, go away, I, I, you're fired. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there are employment rights and all that kind of thing in place, but that's still a possibility. And she's still working for a man. So whether she's fighting in the corporation, fighting for her career, or, 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 or she has a, you know, a job elsewhere, she's still going to be doing, exerting a lot of effort. So I don't think there was that much controversy or that there is that much controversy in, in that. He's just saying that he doesn't see UFC as a good option for a woman. Um, I would put to him that I don't see UFC as a good option for a man either, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because as, from our Islamic perspective, you know, there's a lot that goes wrong with it. I mean, you have cash uh, flowerat, like, you know, you have to show, which to be fair, Khabib does as well, which is which is wrong, which he shows his thigh part of his leg. Uh, there's there's also the ring girls that have to come in, which uh, is not Explain allowed. that to me. I mean, how yeah. does that fit in the equation? I mean, we're yeah. <laughs> you know. right, right, right. So what I'm saying is that if we want to be honest with ourselves yeah. about you, like if we're talking about UFC or any other promotion, then we have to be completely honest and we have to say, okay, well, actually, if it's, it's not, is it to what extent is it a gender issue? Because why would it be haram? It would be haram because you have cash flow, right? You have yeah. the aura being uh, shown. Oh, he does that himself. He should. Uh, he could f- uh, fix that problem by just covering his thigh. Absolutely, yes, could. yes. Uh, the ring girls. Uh, he he's not really uh, too much in control of that, but it's something we cannot endorse. That you have a woman there being objectified, holding a card, you know, uh, totally objectified. I mean, yeah. look at that. Totally wrong. Uh, you have issues to do with the promotion itself, where it's it's a lot about ego, and that's completely against Islam. Um, and a uh, darar, which is another issue with cr- creating mass harm to someone. Mm-hmm. And if you're doing that on a regular basis, I mean, I wouldn't tell my son to be a UFC fighter. Because my because then I know, or even a boxer, because I know that that can have a long term effect on their mental faculties. Whereas a, a grappler or a BJJ practitioner, yeah, they might have some joint pain, etc. But it might not be uh, to the extent whereby their mental faculties are, are a pro- uh, have, a pro- have a problem like that. So we're talking about health anyway. So uh, the, the issue with a woman is obviously she's showing more of her aura. That's the main issue. That's the main difference. She's going to be showing more of her aura. From an Islamic perspective, there's more for a woman to cover than there is for a man. That's the main issue. Apart from that, I mean, uh, the, the rulings that we just talked about are pretty universal and consistent. So to be honest and fair, we have to kind of look at what Khabib said and, and kind of analyze it from an Islamic perspective and say, well, I mean, you're right to an extent, but you're also, you know, you're not being completely honest to an extent as well because... The UFC and all these promotions and boxing promotions, they do things that for a man are haram to do, not just for a woman. So yeah. if we're being honest, we, we would say it like that. But uh, the point on a woman uh, being scrutinized because um, she's she's raising her children. I mean, uh, the alternative being that she should be uh, pumping money for the economy that a man's going to take and put into his pocket anyways. Mm-hmm. is quite ironic, I would say. So I don't I don't buy that either.